is um, he is a rock star in the uh, uh, in the crypto scene. In fact, he wrote um, the talk called "A Sellout." He's written um, he's written uh, "Mod Security" as well, which is a web application firewall, which is quite commonly used. Um, and he's uh, written multiple books as well. So, is that a fair introduction? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I think rock stars are quite often very demanding. I'm not. So, um, but I suppose it's okay. <laughs> I, I certainly don't mind. Let me see uh, if I can. Okay. So, um, are we getting the? We're not getting the screen over there. Well, this one won't go in, in, into my computer. If you need, if you want me to, I, I can give you my adapter. Okay. So. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, um, first of all, thanks uh, to Plowfer for inviting me. I. Um, my name is Ivan Vistik. I, I'm, I'm not sure how to introduce myself. I guess what I do is that I try to solve computer security problems. And I, I try to solve them in a way that works. And um, I'm going to show, I, I write books and, and, and other things. So I found that, for example, to, by accident, uh, SSL Labs, if, if you're in computer security, you might have come across, uh, across SSL Labs. Uh, this is something I built uh, quite a few years ago, and in building it, I came across a few things that, that work, and one of those things is that uh, if you turn something into a game and make it easy and make it fun, people tend to want to use it, and people use it to, to help themselves. So I built this tool, which is very easy uh, to use. Um, I just built it for myself, and then you come to this website, you enter any domain name that you, you wish to test, and then uh, there's a couple of servers that work behind and just uh, perform a very deep evaluation of your SSL in TLS configuration. Uh, you get um, uh, very deep di diagnostics, but more importantly, it's presented to you in a way that you understand. So the grade that you see on the screen is actually what makes SSL up so interesting because you don't have to be a security expert to understand what I'm telling you. And also what I've discovered is that people like to play games. So if you get, give them an A, uh, which is what you can see on your screens right now, but you also tell them, oh, yeah, of course, you could have an A+, plus, you could have an even better grade, then suddenly people become really interested in to, uh, what is it I need to do to make it happen? So yes, they, they care about their security, but also they want to feel good about themselves and they want to have fun in the process. So um, Using all the, the, the sort of lessons I, I've learned in building uh, SSL apps, I uh, embarked on this new thing called Hardinize, which is my, my startup. And um, I want to fix one particular problem, which is that today we have lots of security standards, but actually very few companies use them. And if you look at it, I stole this quote from William Gibson, and he basically said that the future is already here. And if you look outside, I know, at uh, the computer security ecosystem, lots of companies have, well not lots, some companies have the best security possible. But that's only a very small amount and those are the companies that live in the future. The rest of us will live in the, in the present. And then I tried to figure out well, what what's, was that, I mean, I tried to quantify. And no matter how I looked at it, I figured it's less than 1% of companies that use the security standards and best practices that we have today. So I'm not talking about even something that you know might exist in the future. This is this is today. And then, I, of course, I tried to understand why why that's happening. And I came to the conclusion: it's simply too complex. There is way too many moving pieces in the way that we do security today. And this is my acronym soup. And I, I haven't even listed all the acronyms I could have uh, on this page. So. Uh, that's. That's absolutely true. So if they would be frozen in time, you still have to spend years to uh, understand them. I wrote a book called Bulletproof SSL and TLS. I spent about five years researching for the book and two years writing it. I don't feel 100% confident in my expertise today. I still feel there's lots of things I don't know. And, you know. and I was focusing on that 
full time. So imagine someone else, like a, a developer, trying to develop some features and deploy new stuff, I at the same time trying to understand security and do everything correctly. So I think um, we need help. I mean, we collectively need help in terms of uh, how, uh, getting security out there. So I built this tool, and it's going to—it's a free tool, and you're going to see it soon. Uh, to have all the security expertise that you sort of ideally would have yourself, then to have the auditing capabilities so that you can quickly see what your security posture is. And then the third component is that there's a collaborative piece where I sort of, in, or this is the vision, right? Invite people from, with different profiles from within one organization to, so they can decide where they want to be security wise. And then I help them get to that point. Because not every website will need, to be, will need to have top security. You will have marketing websites that needs a little, and you will have some maybe top size that need a lot. So this is my mini pitch. Now, I, I have a startup, so I, I pitch this startup quite a lot. Uh, this is a very mini, uh, mini pitch that uh, lasts only a couple of minutes. Anyway, my big thing is I want to make security easy and fun, and I have proof. Uh, this is a photo I received for one of my uh, SSL Labs users. I don't know them. They sent me the photo via Twitter. They stumbled upon SSL Labs somehow. They uh, had a grade they didn't like. They worked hard. They achieved A+, which is the best grade in SSL Labs. And they were so happy with their achievement, they posted the photo of it, or rather the printout of it, on the company fridge. And this is exactly the emotion that I, I want to evoke with hardness, and this is what I want to achieve. If people feel that they're, they're, they're not working, they will actually get uh, things done. Uh, above all, I think what's interesting is the power, of, I call it the power of right now. You have to remove any barrier to entry if you want to make uh, something that's successful and works, which is why I made, well, that's not why I made SSL Labs free, but that's why I'm going to make uh, hardness free. So this is uh, just a brief introduction because my actual Cloudflare app is very tiny and to understand my app you actually need to understand what, what my real application does. Because, and I, I'm going to show you just uh, uh, both hardness, just very quickly. So if you go to hardness.com and you just type a domain name, uh, I've already done this so it's going to be slightly faster than, than normally. But it takes only two minutes, it's not very long. And I'm going to give you this report where you're going to see all the security best practices, all the available security standards, and I'm going to evaluate your configuration, I'm going to look in, into everything in depth, and I'm going to tell you how you're doing, whether you have everything or whether there's room for improvement. So that's the real thing, this is free, so I'm, I'm not selling anything by the way. My ambition is really is to, to help people improve their security. And that finally brings me to my Cloudflare app. And it's a really, at this point, it's a proof of concept. My, this is some other website. My Cloudflare app is here at the bottom. This is what I have at the moment. Um, the reason why I like the Cloudflare platform is because it has a very wide reach. If we are going to fix security, we have to make a lot of people aware of security issues. And for me, Cloudflare as a platform presents a really nice way to get to those people. And I, I'm hoping that the combination of the free application and the, the reach will, actually, will make a dent, so to speak. So uh, my proof of concept application will, re will only s show a security report card uh, on some other website. So if you're a Cloudflare user, your, clou your, your application is delivered via Cloudflare by enabling uh, my application on your website, I begin to monitor your website once a day and although I don't do that at the moment, I can email you whenever there's a, secu there's a movement security-wise. Maybe something, you make a mistake, and maybe you misconfigure something. Maybe, maybe you open up a security problem on your website and maybe something changes in the world that impacts you. And then because I'm continuously monitoring your website, I can tell you uh, that there's something you need to work on. Now, I don't imagine that many people will want to have exactly this report card on their own websites. So I'm, I'm suppo I suppose it. Uh, at the moment, this is the, 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 the front end. So this will be Cloudflare. But my tests will not. So it's easy for Cloudflare because Cloudflare takes over 
quite a few things such as TLS configuration and whatnot. So I'm testing Cloudflare um, and that's usually good. But also Hardin is, uh, uh, has a wider span and covers lots of things that Cloudflare doesn't. So in that respect, I would scan those things. Um, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't asked if I can get information about your origin service. I could easily test those. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Yeah, but I don't test for vulnerabilities, uh, vulnerabilities at all. My, uh, my tests are all about, uh, they're forward looking. I want, my goal is ultimately that organizations build a security culture. And I think they're going to build the security culture by having this report card to look at and bonding over it. And then if you get, in, if you get that bug that you say, oh, I have to improve, then you start to re understand security and then your effort and your op optimism perhaps is going to spill into everything that you do within the organization. So even in the, in the things that I don't measure or can't, can't even measure. So anyway, a future version of this will probably be a, just a small tiny button uh, at the bottom of the page and, we, and it will have a grade that you say, Yo, my security is fantastic, look how good my security is. Um, and I think some people want to show off, but more importantly I think is the continuous uh, monitoring, monitoring aspect. So the way I build this application, uh, I'm, I'll be here afterwards, so uh, feel free to ask me any question. It was terribly easy. Um, you just need to know a bit of uh, JavaScript, HTML, cascading style, cask, uh, style sheets. I've, g I've had great support from the Cloud Thread team. They're really kind to uh, give my application a thorough review, review and they help me uh, improve it. Um, most of my work, and I think in, in, if you decide to build a Cloudflare app, will be on doing something else. Your effort will not be in the Cloudflare app itself. In my case, I had to have, I, I spent about um, 15, 16 months building my startup. So that's the big thing, performing the assessment. But I build an infrastructure to perform these daily assessments, to package reports, I stored them on S3, and then I, I actually delivered the reports via Cloudflare itself. So when my app runs, that's a piece of JavaScript that runs in the context of your website and then fetches, again from Cloudflare, a pre-made report, which is a JSON structure, and then my JavaScript will build dynamically the, J the HTML for the report card, and that's that. And I think my, my impression is that most um, Cloudflare apps will do something kind of similar. I think the power is in the integration not in the fact that you will do something in real time in, um, in, in the browser itself. Yes, that's true. So, Cloudflare injected into the, into the website. So, w what you need to do is if you have an app, you go to your configuration panel and you, you, there's an app uh, navigation, you click there, there's a choice, you click preview, you find your, the app, you like it, you click preview, you can see it, how it works on your website, even though it's not on your website yet, if you're happy with that, you say install. And uh, I think it takes a few seconds, and from, from a few f seconds on, um, your HTML pages are dynamically modified and in injected with this additional content, which then runs in the context of, of your own website. So, that's all for me. If you have any questions, do let me know um, later on. Um, yeah. And you can ask them right now. Cool, thank you very much. So I can see there's, um, there's food being set up for us, so I think I'll, um, I'll uh, finish up now just so we can um, all um, fill our stomachs instead. Um, so, here we are. <laughs> Excellent.